So, you know, I had my experiences of lucid dreams and astral projection in my older home and also what I currently live. <clears throat> I used to have like sleep paralysis and I would, yeah, I would freak you out. You know, you hear about the stories and documentaries and people get freaked out, especially right you know about it and we don't know about it. So, um, I had experience of encountering a thought form that I just happened to create it. I didn't realize that I created her. And so after I went back and looked at this drawing that I did, and it did, it, the description was just like her in a way, to a degree. So I, I instead of like fighting my sleep horses like I usually did, I just went with it. You know, I, I, I cowboyed up, and then I just went with it. And so um, I hopped out of bed. I couldn't tell that I was like in the astral plane. So that's the surreal thing about astral dressing. You can't really tell if you're there or not. And so I think that helps people not actually freak out, you know. So she walked in my room. It was just kind of creepy. Like, it freaked me out because her face was pitch black, just like a drawing. And she looked like she crawled right out of the grave because her, like, Victorian dress was all dirty and her hair was dirty. She was dirty blonde, but dirty. <laughs> so she was dirty blonde with dirty hair, okay? <laughs> so... She turned to black smoke and then went inside of me, like through my mouth, not trying to make a sexual joke. <laughs> so, um, it was just like, it kind of freaked me out and then I woke up out of it and I came back to my body and took control and I, I called upon Archangel Michael and their angels to protect me and um, you know, detach from that energy and I shielded myself with white light. So. So my experience with astral projection, rejecting intently, because I was obsessed with it at the time, you know, I kept looking into it, so I just wanted to do it. So one morning, you know, my mom and brother was in the kitchen, and they were talking. I didn't. I woke up. I didn't move. Like you know that you don't move after waking up. You can fall back asleep and actually lucid dream or astral project. So that's what I did. I didn't move. <clears throat> I um. Just close my eyes. I was still in the beta frequency, so um, it only took a few seconds to actually like just do it. So I was all sitting outside of my body, and I because um, I visualized being outside of my body. Because you know the law of attraction, you already visualize what you desire. So I visualized all just being outside of it already. You know, so I was sitting in my room. It was a nice sunny day, just like in the physical realm. And so, because you know, astral is a mirror room, but it depends on where you where you automatically end up at, where you project. So, I walked out of my uh, my window <coughs> and onto the porch because my room was in the front. And so, I walked down the stairs, went down the street, and then I turned to a wolf. Now, that's what I usually would do when I have lucid dreams. I would turn into a wolf and wander around. And I remember one time during the lucid dream, when I was a wolf, I encountered a uh, Mayan guy in a whole Mayan outfit and he was swinging a chain and I guess he was training me because like I had to like <clears throat> hop over the training the chain at the right moment and just move closer to him and I guess if I were to move closer to him he would stop attacking me with it so but anyways that was my experience of astral projecting and you know I went back to my body and then Everything was just exactly how I saw it, like in the astral. And my brother and my mom were still in the kitchen talking. And even in the astral, I still heard them talking. So, you know, I did my usual routine and you know, what I wake up in the morning. So, my experience of astral projecting as I live in this current place two years ago, I remember watching one night, I was watching a documentary on sleep paralysis, and it was on Netflix. So, since this was two years ago, 2016, I think people probably already saw it and know what I'm talking about because a lot of people like to watch documentaries on there. I, um, this guy had described just going with it instead of fighting it, just like me. And, um, but his experience is he was like in a, a tunnel where there's like a neon lights, like uh, blue, red, green, orange, whatever. And <clears throat> so that's exactly what happened to me um, the next morning. Um, instead of fighting it, I went with it. Because usually when i in the astral and I think that I woke up, physically woke up, I'm actually in the astral plane and I see everything through my mind's eye. Just 
like 360 like the 360 videos so um i was just like in another home like i was in another place and i was in a, a bathroom and all the walls just like coming off and start flying all over the place like a tornado was in there and then everything went back to normal and then you know i was like okay that was interesting so I manifested a light sword, kind of like off of Shadow Hunters, and because I know that if I expect to run into a lower entity, then I could just leave just light energy to protect myself. So I had called my uh, my spirit familiar to help me out, just in case if I were to, you know, actually encounter anything. So I left this bathroom. We went to the living room. It was dark in there, and there were my brother and my nephew manifested there. So. <clears throat> They were just a manifestation. So I looked outside the window and like the sky, you see the stars, the Milky Way, the nebulas, and uh, some planets. And you know, some people um, describe seeing that also when they actually were dead. So I saw like the nebula shaped like two guys, but they had horns. And I didn't feel anything negative from them, I didn't feel anything bad. So like like I usually don't when I see uh, demon entities do my mind's eye. So I went out the window again, <laughs> and then I explored, and it was like a downtown area, and it wasn't high vibrational, and it wasn't so deeply into the lower realm. So I knew that I was I was gonna be okay. So I had encountered some succubus. <laughs> no, they were not prostitutes. So. Um, they didn't bother me because of one of my experiences of an Astro where um, they used to bother me all the time but Lilith out of nowhere without me even asking her to help me got rid of them and so when I encountered them their leader was like through telepathy um, she was like yeah we know we're not going to bother you because of Lilith so I was like yeah okay cool so I moved along and then I went to an alley and yeah there were some lower beings like demons I don't know how to describe them kind of like the hunters from Resident Evil I guess <clears throat> and uh, so of course they attempted to attack me I had the light sword of course me and my familiar my spirit familiar which is a hellhound was fighting back towards them <clears throat> so I manifested my brother and my nephew since I saw them earlier in that experience and it was just a big, a big brawl. So it was kind of like that last episode of the series Angel, if you recognize that, the spinoff from Book of Game Price there. At the end of the scene, the last episode, they were having a brawl in the alley of, against demons. So it was kind of like that, but all the demons looked the same. So of course, it was winning, but more of them was showing up, so they became an army. So I created the version. You know, as an anime fan, I thought of the Solar Flare. Dragon Ball Z reference, and I, you know, we got away, and you know, that's all I remember from that part, from that experience. So, <clears throat> another moment of this astral projection is um, instead of like fighting it again, I just went with it, but I didn't experience that that tunnel. I just like, I just automatically was like in some bedroom, and. It was like a child's room, and I'm not sure why I was there, but like, the closet door opens, and this being, this entity that was like, that looked like the nebula and stars and everything, but shaped like a person, he walked out of it like halfway, not like fully out, just like his torso and his head out, sticking out, and he just started laughing like the guy from <laughs> MJ's Diller video. So, it just kind of freaked me out, and then I just pulled myself out of it, you know, it was like my nope moment. I was like, nope, forget it, I'm not gonna do it. So I came back to my body and I was just like, like, what the hell? <clears throat> so these are things that you would experience in the astral is that you would sometimes go through a test. <clears throat> Entities would test you to see if you're brave enough to continue. So I remind myself that that's what they do. And I was like, oh, okay, so that was a fear test. So he just wanted to test me if I was brave enough to continue. And sometimes entities would do that. Like they just want to make sure that you can just go for it. And so when you're not reacting and you're brave enough to just go through it, then they'll leave you alone. You pass the test. You can just move along. 
So, um, I was inspired to make this video because I had watched other videos of, on astral projection and I wanted to finally make one. So, here it is. And, you know, I used to have experiences now that I look back and memories start to come back for me. My childhood, like, I now I realize I had actually astral projected a lot and I have visited higher realms like many times and they're very beautiful and it's like some of them you will see off of animes or like off of the Devil May Cry reboot with DMC like where he goes into that higher realm and he breaks those chains from that statue and it was just, they're very beautiful like that and a lot more beautiful and surreal so um as a kid you know an anime fan of course I would do like amazing things fly shoot energy blasts or anything, turn Super Saiyan, something, but um, I really enjoy other people's experiences and you know, you can put it down in the comments or whatever and and maybe I'll share this in an actual protection group on Facebook and people can talk about their experience like always and you know, so I will send a link to uh, my WordPress, I will send a link to my social medias, I mean my uh, usernames and um, my Facebook page, Ancient of Bloodline of Lights, so you can give a like or follow on there, and you can like and subscribe to this channel, and you can share this video, and you can also talk about your experiences in the comments, so I would love to read them, take care.